Hello everyone and welcome back to my implementation of FNAF. Right now we're inside of Maya working on the supply closet and we need to wrap up two last items. We have the uh, light at the top and of course the mop down here. The mop should be easier and quicker for us to finish so why don't we jump on that. What I am thinking about doing is being lazy, taking the broom, tweaking it a little bit and then converting it over into this mop since they're basically the same model, just a slightly bit different on the texture area. So why don't we go ahead for now and just move the mop out of here. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's duplicate the broom, move it over here and just uh, get rid of a few items that we don't really need. One of them is of course this metal bit that wraps around the entire thing. So I wanna grab that, grow selection, grow, GGG, whoops. So it looks like, is this combined with that? It looks like it is, so that might make things a little bit more difficult. So let's try this one last time. Let's combine this and that and grow it once. So I thought that that was a separate piece, but it looks like it's part of it. So now we can see what we're kind of dealing with. So let's go to edge mode, grab this one, grab that one, and then do a bridge across both of them. And now we get that going from one to the next. So still not really a problem. Um, looks like the UVs uh, figure themselves out just fine. So we have the general shape now. The next part is we need to pull this out and make it look more rounded off like that. And shouldn't be too difficult to do that. So why don't we go ahead and just grab these points here. Let's go with uh, B key for soft select and let's move into soft selection over here, soft select and let's change our radius a bit whoa way too much let's do 0 0.2 maybe something like that and just start tweaking things oh i hate the walk tool no thank you and just start moving things out and pushing things in until we get something that we can work with now, of course we're going to have to deal with the top this might be better with some sort of a lattice tool, so it's kind of up to you and what you think is going to make this work best. I'm just going to go with what I have so far, and let's see, show soft selection again. Let's take this down a notch to, first of all, instead of volume, let's do surface so that it doesn't impact everything as much. And I'm going to pull these in and then pull these out. I'm getting too much. So let's do not, let's look at this from the side, or the front I should say, and undo these ones and these ones. And come back in here, pull out, grab you and you, please, thank you, and you and you, and just play with it. Till you get something you enjoy or that'll fit i should say getting better the tops need to be rounded out considerably so why don't we grab both of these and pull them out and we'll grab you and you and push you in Let's just do it a lot and get it over with because we know that we're going to have to play with that quite a bit. Something like that. Better. Okay, and then the top, we're going to need to pull that out to make that work. So let's go to edge, grab the entirety of the top and turn soft selection off for that. and just push and pull until we get something that we can work with, like that. All right, still not quite wide enough. Let's put it in the bucket and see what we have. So there we are. I'm gonna delete the old one now. Now we're probably gonna rotate this thing so it hits the wall later on. So we don't really necessarily need it to fill the entirety of the bucket. But either way, we probably should grab it somewhere around there. 
put the soft selection back on and just have it fill out things like that and let's see soft selection still a bit much and just play with it good enough okay so now that we've got our replacement mop we might want to do a few things to make it a little bit different so it's not exactly the same thing um, you might want to grab I mean it's really up to you but you can grab everything on top move it up and down if you want to so for instance coming from the side grab all of this maybe just push pulling it up so it's a little bit off from the other one and then maybe even making this part longer or shorter it really depends on what you want I really haven't I really should be preserving UVs Eh, just pull that one up just change it a little bit okay so there's our mop so now go, let's go over to Photoshop and here it is the mop texture let's save this out as not the mop texture the broom texture and call this one mop instead and these are the UVs uh, they're going to be somewhat comparable to what we already have so we shouldn't need to change much all we need to do now is go in here and change a few bits so we have the wood and we have the background layer for everything so let's do a color change let's go to hue and saturation and let's see what we can do here I don't want it there I want it to affect everything below it so I'm gonna grab actually I don't want it to impact part of this layer I only want it to impact yeah that's that'll work right what are you Oh, that's the wood grain so why is that being impacted by the hue and saturation or is it there we are that's what I wanted I needed it to be applied to that layer in post okay so now we've got that going on uh, the green is a bit of a problem so if we want to just sample a color over here go back in here and of course fill it in as you see fit why is the green a problem uh, your mit maps will be using that when they average down so you kind of don't want that in there so I'm just going to kind of lightly color out most of it and that way we don't have green being averaged in to our stuff okay so that's still the aluminum that's the rest of it now we just need mop So jumping over to Google, let's look up for something that has to do with mops. Let's go to size, larger than 2 megapixels. And this image, if we can get it, might work well. Unfortunately, we can't get the actual image, can we? Let's see if there's something else. This is not a bad image. I want something that zooms in on the actual mop head. I don't want the, the rest of it. Let's see what we have. View and view. See, that's a little bit too far away. There's not a lot of detail with this one, but we might be able to work with it. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like they just supersized or uh, made a small image larger for this one because you can see how grainy and pixelated it is. But let's um, troll and trash that and let's cut things down to size all right and let's try to use spot healing to just finagle our way out of this one so we don't have to do any work
That did a pretty good job. So the next up is image, image size. Let's do 1024 by 1024. And let's go to image. What do we want to do? Select other offset by 12. By 512, look at that horribleness. So really, let's let's do this a little bit different. Let's go to offset again. Let's grab um, this bit here. Filter, other, offset. Whoops. Oh, wow. Okay. Never done that before. Offset, paste. Now that that's in there. Let us merge. That's not what I wanted to do. Let us mask and in the mask layer. A little bit better. Okay. Take both, merge them. Filter, other, offset. Okay. And edit. Let's define a pattern. Edit. Define pattern. Uh, mop. Coming back over here. So our UVs are a little bit different. This part now connects to there. So it's all one big thing. So that means you're all gonna be filled up. So let's create a new layer there. Get rid of this. Maybe add Let's do Shift F5 pattern and choose the mop. Okay, that's way too big. Um, file new and let's do 4096 by 4096. Edit Shift F5 pattern. Okay. Ugh. Look at that horribleness going from top to bottom, right? So let's grab that bit there and we'll be using that with what we're gonna do. And let's, what we're gonna do is take this part, control C, control V and flip flop it over itself and put it over here on top of that one. So we have an interleaving of things. Then we're going to mask this part and try to get rid of some of the problem areas where it's kind of going back and forth in the texture because we want kind of a trade-off is what I'm thinking. Where parts kind of go in and out of one another. At least that's my thought on this whole problem. All right, now that we've got our mop, why don't we bring it on over and stick it in here and see how it works out for us. Unfortunately, I'm not terribly optimistic. My uh, attempt didn't work terribly well. So I'm thinking it's gonna come out a little gross, but let's see what happens. And while we're at it, why don't we bring this on over and see how we're doing before we tweak things anymore.
rename that to mop. Let's go over to window, materials, hypershade. Let's get rid of that one, whoops. So let's go to edit duplicate shading network. So that should give us the broom. Let's call this mop. And let's also call this mop and mop. Great. And change the file it associates with to mop. Grab the object, right click, assign existing material, and mop. And then we can see we've got some, looks like you've uh, issues with the, actually we have it on the original mop too. This edge loop should actually be soft. So let's go to mesh display and soften edge. Let's come over here to this edge and do the same thing there. There we are. And actually it looks like, so that's the beginning and end. It's right over there on the side. Same thing right there. Could be worse, could be better. I'm somewhere in between on this one. So let's save it and go with it for now. And put the UVs, let's look at the UVs actually over here in Maya really quick and see how different they are from our original. So modeling UV editor. So here we can see where the UVs are different. And if we want to, we could push these UVs away. We could push this away as well. For right now, I don't think it's necessary. Jeez Louise. Um, we'll just leave it as is. And let's just call it end for that particular piece of being textured. Uh, we still need to go in here, remember, and deal with the material properties of these objects. That is, we need to create the material maps, the normal maps, the specular maps, um, you know, everything else. And we're probably going to be using uh, a different software program for that. We're probably going to be using MindText to create a lot of these, as well as manipulating these things in Photoshop to get what we want. But that'll be when we start moving things over to Unity. Uh-oh, looks like I lost that texture. So let's see, do I still have it? Okay, so that's fixed, no problem. Just had to reinstantiate everything because I accidentally deleted it when I was doing this video. But anyway, like I said, we're probably gonna be using mine text for a lot of things like normal maps um, and probably the basic generation of some of the specular maps and so forth. And we'll get to that later on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Have a great day.